Hi guys, welcome to the eighth session of basic English grammar. Please rate, review, subscribe, and recommend the course. Also, please leave your valuable suggestions and comments below. So today we are going to start with verbals. So what are verbals? Verbals are word that express the action in a general way without limiting the action. to any time or asserting it to a specific object like there we had said that verbs are action verbs so action word either or they tell you a state right um so that is what they basically uh, they basically refer to words that are based on a verb but are not used as a verb right they used as nouns or adjectives so basically they are words that are based on a verb okay we it will be based on a verb but it will not be used as a verb it will be very obvious we have three types of verbs gerunds participles and infinitives and as we discuss them you will easily understand like what is the thing that i'm tra trying to talk about So let's start with gerund. So gerund is a verb that ends in an ing and functions as a noun. So gerund functions as a noun. Since since it functions as a noun, it occupies. is the same position in the sentence that a noun will ordinarily have like it can be a subject it can be a direct object it can be a subject or a uh, complement or an object of preposition right like like we had discussed in the uh, lessons before so traveling might satisfy your desire for new experiences now here if you see traveling is being used as a noun and not as a verb because it is being told that this might satisfy so it is something that might satisfy right so in case you have any doubt replace traveling with anything right you can replace it with ipod or you can replace it with any other thing and you would know that the sentence makes sense So, like the next example that we have, they do not appreciate my singing. So now you know that singing over here is being used as a noun, right? It's not being used as a verb. Similarly, my cat's favorite activity is sleeping. So you get the point, right? now we come to participles what are participles a participle is a verb that is used as an adjective now gerunds are used as noun participles are used as adjective and often ends in ing or ed it has some features of verb and some of adjectives but it is basically a type of adjective now since it's adjective so it can modify what only nouns or pronouns because adjectives be essentially modify nouns or pronouns now, there are two types of participles present participle and past participle present participles describes what a thing does and part part past past participle obviously defines what was done by a thing right so now present participles 
typically end in ing whereas past participles will end in ed en d t or n as uh, as uh, as in the word asked eaten saved dealt and seen right like she is buying a talking bird for her daughter so she is buying a talking bird right you get that it is modifying next in this sentence is buying is a verb exactly is buying is a verb but talking is being used as an adjective you see that right it is being used as an adjective to modify the word bird if you see right what kind of a bird is it it is a talking bird hence talking is used as a present participle now here you have a broken clock stand on the mantelpiece now sorry stood on the mantelpiece now here stood is a verb right but broken is not being used as a verb it is being used as a adjective which is modifying the clock that how is it it is a broken clock right so it is being used as a past participle next we come to infinitive infinitive is a verb consisting of the word to plus verb in its simplest form which can act as a noun adjective or adverb right so infinitive may also function as a subject direct object subject complement adjective or adverb in the sentence although infinitive is easy to locate because of the plus plus verb form because it's standard like plus plus the verb two uh, two plus the verb form deciding what it has uh, its function can be a confusing thing right because it can function as many different things like to wait seems a foolish when action was required so to wait here is a subject because this whole thing is modifying it right this whole thing is modifying it and there you have the action like there you have everyone wanted to go so here everyone wanted to go is a direct object that what what was the outcome they all wanted to go his ambition was to fly he lacks the strength to resist now here it is being used as an adjective we must study to learn here it is being used as an adverb so here you see so basically two plus the verb form is an infinitive which can act as a noun adjective or adverb anything which you'll have to figure out right so do not confuse an an uh, infinitive that is a verbal plus two plus the verb with a prepositional phase beginning with two plus a noun right infinitives are like to fly to draw to become to enter stand to catch and prepositional phrases would be to him to the committee to my house so here you see there are nouns right and there are modifies to us to this address but here you have a verb right so that this is a prepositional phrase this is an infinitive so that's it for today guys i hope you like the video thank you so much